All right, y'all. So obviously Kyrie is one of the strongest players in the world. So people are going to target him and ban his most used heroes. Now, Anik went on a Ford losing streak a couple of weeks ago, and people were saying at that point in time that it's more of a coaching problem than it is a player problem because the picks were actually horrible. This is what some people are saying. Then you have other people that are just saying that Anik is washed up. The players aren't that great anymore. And obviously people are blaming Kyrie. I don't know what side you all are on, what has actually transpired since this moment in time, but it didn't look like Anik was doing too hot a couple of weeks ago. So we're going to be checking this out. Let me know what you all think in the comment section down below and let's just jump straight into it, y'all. Dang, that's crazy. That was the bands? They really did ban, <laughs> they banned almost all the assassins. That's like crazy. Level four, now the Arnick have an advantage. Rez walking up again. Oh, good stun. Kyrie with the steal. Supplemented by Rez in the back. And X-Men is going to be very low. Rez gets out. First blood, Kyrie. Getting rid of car. Strictly Eagle now on the Sway Low. Jumps onto X-Men. Sway Low. Doesn't want to go for, oh, he does. Interesting. When we all had a unanimous, oh. What? Mm. She did again, what, how? What? I did not know that interaction was possible. Guiding win out of the Divine Judgment? Keyboy? Aether taking back control, car is good zoning. They're gonna give it away, Aether picks it up for free. Rez walks up, but it's a bit too late as X-Men walks up towards the back too. Rez, zap down. That's X-Win. With a finger divine judgment onto Rez, but Kyrie still some nice retries like from Kyrie. The back high. Rez gets an I'm offended onto three, and that is still cars out damaging Kyrie in the midst of Dang. it all. CW brought in by the guiding oh. wind. Cars deals some damage with the primal wrath, basic attacking CW to death. Rebellion won that. That was a one for three trade. Will you anytime soon? In fact, he might be more concerned about magical damage. Oh, pops in a blazing new head, Kyrie. Breaking some ankles here with some of the maneuvers. Forcing out a big resource, but the Lord is spawning in the bottom lane. Fanatic Onik are up top. Wait, Rebellion are deciding to go for the Lord. Wait. For the that was actually just a great play from Rebellion because they were focusing, um, Kyrie's team was obviously focusing um, the other lane. So why wouldn't they start um, Lord when they see that it's right there and it's, it's available? So I think that this was just a great play. Like, they were obviously going to take that top tower. They were they were losing the tower, so instead they went for a different objective. I think that that should be pretty standard for any pro level play. Like if you can't get to the objective, you can't defend it, you can't do anything about that. Take another equally valuable objective. So I mean that's that's just pretty much basic in Mobile Legends, but it is a very very good call on their part to do it with such high stakes. There um at, at events and all this stuff, it's, it gets it gets kind of you know it's it's a lot on the line in this setting. So it's still impressive. Iconic. I have just been out macroed by Rebellion Esports. The blue bulls just charge to an objective. Go lead. I'm gonna try and make a big play, X win. Flicker. Oh, good cancel by Rez. With the Don't Run Wolf King CW picks up the kill as X win oh, was trapped. Um, kind of in the same spot right here because the bushes aren't safe. X win. Oh, Flicker. This time catching Keyboy. And that's gonna the combo with the blazing duet. The real world of the blanket catches all of the map. Is able to get out the dock up from the Lord. Caught Kyrie. Dominators right, Kyrie got him. Swaylo. Cars taken low as well. It's going to be Swaylo still running away. Fnatic, Onik have lost three of their members. Only getting Aether. RBL are very low though. CW and Sun still practically full HP. They can't go for the Lord, but Rebellion want to try to force it. X-Whip going for the flags off the Sun. Now going for the Divine Judgment, able to find it. And it is going to be Cars who secures it. He sacrifices his life for it. That's a win for Rebellion. What? I mean, I understand that Fnatic Onyx, they were outnumbered, but man, they were so oh. low. Dominators are set. The winner crown coming down. CW getting gunned down by the blazing duo and the flicker. King F-A-T-T. Man. That was nice. So, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, Rez. Oh, no, no follow-up. They're all going to fall down. That was Dominators nice from Rez. Again. It's going to be Keyboy against Khan. Rez will fall. Real world manipulation, but there's a winner crown from Aether Cars. It I mean, I thought that that was nice from Rez. It was nice that he got the people, but it doesn't look like his team was ready for it. So I think that he could have held off on that if his team wasn't ready and they could have saved that for another play and made another play. But yeah, it doesn't look like they're working together that well as a team. Anik is, seems to be struggling in this one with teamwork. In the back, 1v3, no problem. 
King MATT still has that Rose Gold Meteor. Kyrie can't catch him, and that's the onward, the Earth Shatter, buddy. Needs Look at that. Notice how um, they survived because those three were standing together, working together. So Kyrie almost had some pickoffs, but the team was there supporting, and you know it made them it made it impossible for Kyrie to secure that kill. But we don't see Onik doing the same thing. That that's crazy. He's another buddy. Like he that defined Jasper might be up sooner than they think. Harry walking up in the red tree. No, Aether gets it before. Dominator is just set from the Sons. Sons, what happened to Sons? He got dove on. Mm. Absolutely. To dive in, X with with a conceal already. Canceled out by the Dolan Woking. And I'm offended with the Earth Shatter and the Divine Judgment. Catches yeah, Kyrie. Kyrie is a spear of Alpha. Catches him too. Even with the Guiding Wind, they're unable to survive. Rebellion Esports just got a dub against the Sky Kings. He's already picked up. Oh, Julian. Okay, yeah. There you go. Yep. So they are going to go for the five man. Birthday boy, buddy oh, boy. No. no. Assassins oh, for buddy on his birthday. Look at him. What's his reaction? The he noise. is just so annoyed. Look at him. Hey, if anything, it's an ego boost. Right? That means that's. No, oh, that's not an ego boost. That's freaking annoying. Like, imagine you plant mobile legends. It's your birthday on top of that. And everybody's always targeting you. Everybody's taking out all the heroes that you play well to try to nerf you to the point where you can't carry games because there's no picks that you can pick and carry the games on. Like, it's it's kind of... I can see how frustrating that would be. So, I mean, do you think that... Like, why? How do, what do you think this is? There's so many bans now that you can't really do it. Like, what, you got to be super, super good enough to carry the game on, like, 10 heroes now or something? Like, with this many bans, you can literally just target one individual player. If a, play, if a team has a superstar, you can literally target that player to the point where they become useless and start looking bad. So do you all think that Kyrie is not as good as he used to be? Or do you think that it's just now people are smart enough to just target him heavily so he looks a lot worse? Like, if you ban Kyrie, is Onik now useless? If you, if you completely ban everything that Kyrie can use. That's, he's him. that important in the team. He is, but... I think he needs these picks. This is what makes it so hard now. Oh, he's scratching his head. Oh, man. Oh, no. He's rotating over. Oh, Aether still gets it. No retribution committed. And Kimo is going to be the one who pays the bills. Netherrealm! Not in range. Oh, unfortunate. Those emotes, but wait a second. Oh, my goodness. Kimo has just been pinned down. Netherrealm not available. And with a shadow kill, Kyrie wants to go in, but there's not enough damage. That's another death on Keyboy. But with the Akai, I think it becomes a whole lot more 100 to 0. Car's gonna be poked down right now as Keyboy doesn't get the I'm offended earlier. Missing it out. Dominator's descent comes down, and that is the lockdown of the heavy spin and the avatar. That's the 100 to 0 we were talking about. Cars with the revitalized. Sway low escaping. They will sacrifice Car's sons. Trying to pull Sway low back. Keyboy will be able to pick up the kill. And actually, it is gonna be Kyrie. Car is finally dying. But in the end. Big moves coming in from Aether, but the turret on the bottom side won't fall as Res comes in. Good, I'm offended over. Aether should be dead, and he will be dead. Keyboy. Mm. Genius one completed for Matt. He can lower the magical defense and allow Swaylo to pop off. But look at this, Keyboy. An attempt at Keyboy's life. Unfortunately, unable to go for the pin down fully, and that is a heavy spin wasted. Oh, Dominator's Ascent already used up. Res to be isolated all alone, getting a massive demonic force brought onto three members. And then the realm saving his life now as an avatar comes in, and Res will be locked down. The Dominator's Ascent still there. Res taking low, straight low with a sap. And now it's Kyrie with the electrifying beats. The shadow kill following through. Aether caught in the midst of it all, still able to get the Shuriken down, him. and he survives. Kyrie is forced back in rebellion. Have available, but look at X Win. Kyrie's still playing really, really well. Oh. Heavy spin. Oh, oh he has sprint, he has sprint. Oh, no, he doesn't have the purify either. Boy, but get the shadow kill. Oh, oh he got out of that. BMI out. Aether has the quad shot. And now is over there to tank up. Rez doing a bit of damage now, jumping onto Matt, forcing the chaos out, and the vengeance too. They've been able to zone in the back line. The avatar coming down. Kyrie's still able. Oh, oh. Cars with a steal. Kyrie missed the retribution. Cars is no. going to be able to get the assassination. Got the, kill. the shadow kill to the back. Now Sans low with a purify. It's oh Cars again God. who baits it out and Aether picking up the kill. A heavy spin coming down with the Infernal Pursuit all the way. Keyboy missing the I'm offended. What is going on? Fnatic on it with blunders across the board. And an amazing play by Cars the Machine himself. Oh. Really proving that they still have a chance oh. here. But look at this. What? Res overstepping what CW. That? still have a chance. Oh. That was greedy. Cars the Machine himself. Oh. Really proving that they still have a chance oh. here. But look at this. 
What? Come on now. Getting out played like that. that. Getting out played like that was crazy. Like that. That was. That was not good. That was not a good play. BCW walking up. Swaylo just there. Dominator to set forward. Whoa. So annoying to deal with. When he's in your face as the main damage dealer. Whoa. Like, Whoa. 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 No, no way. Dang. No way. That's Kyrie a solo lacking. kill. Aether just got a solo kill. No way. On the god in the jungle. Doing less damage to him because of the passive. Look at Cars! Getting a two-man taunt right there, but it's gonna be Keyboy who gets taken out. Immortality down now as Res jumps into the back with the Infernal Pursuit, but Keyboy will be able to flick around. Aether following through! Sway low cop flicker and now Mao, and now it's Res with the Infernal Pursuit! Cars jumping in again with the Avatar! Matt is still free! He should be able to do this damage, and he will be able to! Cars running Sans down! Sans, don't pull him back! Don't no. do it! He does! And he takes down, Sons is able to survive, but not Calvin Winata. Nice. M-A-T-T is in the building. King of Matt. He goes in for the kill onto Kyrie, and then he goes on to, to the kill onto CW, oh the two God. core pillars of Fnatic Onyx. Sons is dead. Gila no longer. No way. T-Boy, I'm offended to the minions. He's trying to clear out the okay. way, but they're all going to go for the trying, but... It's wide open. Fnatic Onyx are fighting for dear life. Rebellion Esports just charged their way through! The Sky Kings have fallen! Is this the end of the era of the Sky Kings? Number five on the standings right now. Ladies and gentlemen, already a very peculiar sight. Yo, what are the standards? What 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 is it looking like now? How how does it look? Are they doing better now? I'm gonna have to catch up with stuff and see how they're doing now. But yeah, this is this is looking crazy. A four-time lose streak now against one of the teams at the bottom. This is a huge day for upsets. It feels like the world is crawling upside down right now. The fanatics around the world. They've got to be shaking. All right, y'all. So, yeah, there we have it. Let me know what you all think in the comment section down below, man. Looks like they're struggling a little bit. But, um, yeah, let me know how you all feel about that. Do you think that they'll turn it around or have they turned it around? And are they going to be, you know, are they going to be okay? Or is everybody going to keep targeting um, Kyrie? And that's pretty much just going to be the end of that. Let me know what you all think. Is Onik... Is Onyx over with without Kyrie, um, with Kyrie getting banned? Let me know. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.